Good? Yeah, man, I'm good. A bit cold. Yeah. It oh, is oh, fucking oh. freezing. Yeah, have you got the ATD? Good morning guys, so today we're going to be looking at the Canon ATD. It's got the 10 to 22 millimeter lens on it and it is from Mike Chudley who's actually walking through the frame right now. Um, he's kindly lent me the camera because I've heard a lot of good things about it. People asking me whether or not it is a good budget camera to go and get. So we've come down to around the Lloyd building and Central today to get some look up shots. Um, because I've got the wide on, I think it'll look pretty cool. We're gonna stay here for a bit and then move around and get some other photos. So let's have a little bit of a walk around and see what we can get. There is the typical look up shot, which is here in the middle. Now, if you don't have a super wide um, and you wanna get a look up shot, there is one alternative. And that alternative is you can lay on the floor, look up and get the same shot. Um, with most phones as well these days, they come with wide angles. So you don't have to necessarily keep yourself just with the camera. So we're gonna do a look up shot here. Let's get the settings all squared away. Okay, so the first shot I'm gonna get is this one here. There's also a reflection as well, which looks pretty cool. Okay, that's number one. Let's get one facing down here. What I typically do in this situation is I expose for the sky and then in post-production I bring up the shadows, um, add a brush tool to enlighten some of the, the shadowed areas. Um, that way you tend to keep the whites not to be blown out. I mean, if you're not sure where the Lloyds building is, just open up Google Maps and you'll be able to find it. It's pretty awesome to be honest. Uh, it's an amazing building. I really like it. These are all cool. There's a nice little reflection shot there. That's cool. Again, exposing for the, the sky. Cool, it's nice. Get this shot here. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Before we head somewhere else, there is a really cool look up shot here, which I always try to get and it looks really sick. Um, and it's <laughs> these buildings here. I'm gonna get one on the HD and then we'll move somewhere else. Okay. Good to speak to you, have a good one. So there's like a, a stairway here where you can actually get a bit lower. So I'm gonna slowly glide down it. Go. Oh yes. Because this isn't as wide as the full frame, getting this little bit extra lower is insane. I went down there. Oh, down there? Yeah. Yeah, because you've got this like a, um, you get a bit more. That is wide. Yeah, there's also a crane. I'm just going to try and get that quickly because it looks really cool, the reflection. And then we shall move somewhere else. I like that. We're going to move somewhere where it's a little bit more busy. There's people out and about and see if we can get some like street style shots. We're around the bank area. We're going to try and get some, you know, streety style shots around here and hopefully we'll be able to get something. Um, if you can keep seeing my, my camera knocking into the frame, I am sorry, um, but it's like attached to me, so I can't really change that. Okay, so the shot I'm gonna get is looking back towards the Bank of England and hopefully get a bus. So there's a bus over there. I'm gonna wait for that bus to go past to get the shot of it going in front of me here. So just gonna wait for that now. Okay. Yeah, I was kind of hoping for a bit of rain today because when it rains, obviously it's really sick and you get all these reflections, but today we've just got dryness everywhere. Just missed everything. Oh no. Okay, let's get this. Wait, I'm gonna look right to get this dude. Okay. So we've come up to St. Paul's area where there's that generic cool shot with the reflections either side. Um, so we're gonna get that because I haven't got that in like two weeks. So I mean, I have to, don't I? Isn't it like the oblig obligatory, obli oh my God, the obligation to get the shot. So let's go and get it. We'll go at 10 mil, one on my mic in front of us. And I'm going to get this reflection shot on the side. So 
So normally you can go up to like the second level. I don't know if you can at the moment because everything's off. But so at the end of this like walkway as well, you can use um, this glass to get a nice reflection shot as well, which we're going to do. Get one like this. And see if we can get three of them. Oh, that looks so cool. When you use this, the glass, and obviously the St. Paul's itself, you can actually get three, three reflections, which looks really cool. You can see that on the screen. Cool, that looks really dope. I like that a lot. <laughs> Such a cool inception shot. Um, okay, let's head down here, see if we can find Mike, and uh, see where to go then. I mean, so far, there's only one thing I will say about the ADD is, I like how it feels in the hand. Um, I used to shoot on the Nikon D7000, and actually the feel of this reminds me of that. There's ergonomic differences, obviously, but having a DSLR again does feel quite nice to use. But here you've got a couple of leading lines. You've got a line here um, and this line here. It looks kind of cool, so we're going to get a wider shot here. Cool, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm gonna see if I can get uh, like a longer exposure shot of St. Paul's uh, with a bus going past. So let's see how far we can push this. Let's push it down. Normally, typically I want it like four of a second, one, four, four over one, whatever you want to call it. Um, we'll put the ISO as low as possible. And then we'll put the F-stop as high as possible. Which isn't great, but it works. So let's find a good framing um, without being in mic shot. Um, there's quite a cool framing here because you've got like the bus stop of St. Paul's Cathedral and there's some weird guy on top of it. Um, so I'm going to try and go maybe here. Okay, bus going past. Yeah, it looks all right. There's a cool reflection this side um, of the two buildings, which we're going to try and get. Let's move down a bit. That's cool. I like that. Okay, got a couple of good ones here, half decent. I feel like it is absolutely gonna throw it down. I agree with that. <laughs> so glad I wore my jacket. I was like, I'm not gonna wear my jacket, it's not gonna rain. Smart. Look at that. Oh, moody, doesn't it? It does, it looks great. On to South Bank side, but the, the sky, I don't know if you could see it on the camera. It is so moody, look at it. Look in the distance over there, it is so black. So I'm gonna try and get that. Take it in landscape for once, as everyone always moans that I take it in portrait. And that's it, I'll go back to portrait. Nice little reflection chart, like that. Okay, Let's see what else we can get. So at the end of the bridge coming from St. Paul's, you've got this look back shot, which you've got like these amazing leading lines towards St. Paul's. And I really like this shot with normally an 85mm um, or a 7200 because the compression is just insane. I'm currently shooting at 22mm, so obviously it's not as good, but uh, you get the point. And you can see those moody clouds as well, which are just, they look like they're going to throw a bunch of water on us in a minute. Okay, another shot that I like to get is there's a reflection shot here. Um, again, with like an 85 or, a, you know, a, a zoomed lens it looks much better um, but at 22 it still looks pretty cool um, there's two people that are walking into the frame I'm just gonna wait for those guys to move um, and then I'll get the shot okay cool let's go okay the weather's got a bit more grim but I think it might just be a shower and I think in about 10 20 minutes it might pass but for now I don't know about you Mike I'm gonna grab a, I'm gonna grab a hot chocolate Cafe Lira. yeah for sure 
There's a dude here pushing a bike along, which looks pretty cool. Try and get that. There's no cars coming at the moment. Let's use this reflection. Okay, we're going to go and walk down the north side of the river towards Tower Bridge, but there's this cool staircase that I always quite like. The shot I like is actually from the bottom. Controversial opinion, I'm not actually a massive fan of the Shard. Um, I mean, architecturally, I guess it is quite cool, but it just, it looks a bit out of place to me. I don't really like it. It doesn't look... If they built stuff next to it, I think it would make more sense. But to me personally, it just looks a bit out of place and doesn't really have its uh, place in the skyline. But that's just my opinion. Okay, so this is the shot I wanted to get. You get this leading line up with the stairs and then you also get the shard, the pointy thing over there. If you didn't know what the shard was. That looks pretty cool. Another reflection shot on here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, with the, the water on top. So let's see if we can get that. Oh, that actually looks really cool. Cool, that's really cool. Such an amazing reflection shot. Get a shot down here without slipping in, hopefully. Um, and I think this might be the last shot of the day. So you've got, obviously the river's quite high today. Um, and you've got the stairways going down and then you've got the shard. And I just think it looks really nice with the stair handle going down into the water and then the shard in the background. So I'm going to see what I can get. And obviously there's also the reflection. Cool. There's also this little groove here that looks quite cool. Okay, I'm going to go back up there to get the shot because it looks really cool. I'm going to have to go down on the floor. So there's like this drainage way just here. And I'm going to use that as kind of like a leading line to get the shot. But I'm going to put the settings back quickly. I'm hoping this is just going to give it a bit more depth. Hopefully. Oh, okay. That looks so sick because it seamlessly runs into the water. That's really cool. But overall, I quite like shooting with it. Um, it's, you know, we all know it's very well known and very good for vlogging. I even had a little go at it for vlogging and it's, uh, it's really good. I actually really like the camera itself. Um, if you were thinking about getting an ADD as a starting camera or as a beginning camera, I highly recommend it. It's really good. I really like it personally, um, especially with the 10 to 22 lens. Can't go wrong. Well, that being said, create more, stress less. I'm going to go and take a couple of more shots on my Sony um, and I shall see you in the next video. Peace.